The MHRA uh, Jamie Mean has said that uh, under medicinal regulation, none of the e-cigs currently available, so nothing on mm. that table, um, would qualify for a marketing authorization. Quality of electronic cigarettes is not good enough to support people to reduce the harms of smoking. So that implies that medicinal regulation in Atlant would result in all e-cigs, all of those. Um, being taken off the market. Quality of electronic cigarettes is not good enough to support people to reduce the harms of smoking. Um, so nothing would be available to myself or fellow vapors. Mm. Um, how does that stack up? That's not my understanding of what the MHRA has actually said. Quality of electronic cigarettes is not good enough to support people to reduce the harms of smoking. Joe Means had actually said that. Well. Yeah. My, well, that's not what the intention of our lawmaking is at all. My view on e-cigarettes is mm -hmm. that they really help people stop smoking mm -hmm. and there's a lot of evidence and I accept that evidence. I accept that if you're a heavy smoker, you're much better to get an e-cigarette, smoke it and I would be happy to see heavy smokers switch to e-cigarettes and I have no intention whatsoever of trying to get those products off the market. Going back to the MHRA, because mm. you may or may not be aware, um, they've involved, uh, informed current vendors that in order to continue trading, if this is enacted, the costs for each ECIG product will carry an amount somewhere around £200,000 or more each. Uh, and one ECIG vendor has currently spent over £2 million and is no closer to achieving an MA than they were before mm. they started. I've seen wildly different figures on the cost of getting a license to get an e-cigarette on the market. Wildly different ones from different, the companies exaggerate the amount because let's not, the companies aren't charities, you know, they're, they're not, they're fighting the legislation because they don't want to have to pay to have their products regulated. But companies do that all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, banks didn't want to be regulated, look what happened to banks. You know, sometimes you learn that things are better and they want to reduce their costs. I understand that. But a lot of these cigarette companies are looking at making profit, huge profit margins in future. On the one hand, they're predicting that they're going to overtake cigarettes and they're going to become a big market. On the other hand, they're telling me that they can't afford to do a regulatory process. Can I just show you this? that is from The Lancet. Um, this came out this morning, mm -hmm. uh, and it's particularly the last paragraph um, before the, the references. Um, it's the, 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 the paragraph that says, in conclusion. So in conclusion, since e-cigarettes are a recreational consumer product mm -hmm. that are competing with much more dangerous cigarettes, which are not regulated as medicines, mandatory medicinal regulation is not required for public safety, and can harm public health by restricting the ability of e-cigarettes to compete with cigarettes in the marketplace. Excessive regulation of e-cigarettes would protect the market monopoly of cigarettes and mm. have the potential consequences of disease in the death of millions of smokers who were prevented from moving on to the next generation of e-cigarettes. Uh, for the first time in the history of the tobacco control movement, a realistic possibility is emerging that a tobacco problem might get resolved and that this could happen with minimal or no government involvement or expenditure. Regulators of medicine should hold their fire. Mm. What, what do you think about that? Well, I don't know who wrote... The, I mean, The Lancet publishes different views, and the medical profession has been divided to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And some... It's true, I mean, you know, I've met some doctors who don't think... Not from this country, actually. I don't know who these doctors are, not from the UK. In the UK, I did take soundings from people who do believe, like action on smoking and health, they do believe we should have e-cigarettes on the market. Mm -hmm. But their top doctors say, because they, you know, they deal with people, they want them to be regulated as medicines. And so, yes, there are some doctors who don't think that, but they're equally in the UK, if you look at the, the bulk of the opinion I've had from the health community and from top doctors, it's certainly saying to me, we think, to get the quality right, to make sure they do what they say on the tin, because... The, 
the vapor, the vaping community, mm. uh, myself included, yeah. are concerned about is that we won't be able to get what we like to use. I think, and I've seen a lot of this, and I know people have written to me and they're concerned, but there's nothing in what we're doing which should stop that happening. The quality of electronic cigarettes is not good enough to support people to reduce the harms of smoking.